Hi, thanks for tuning in to this new member overview. We're talking about leadership roles today. Toastmasters has kind of a history of being known for that public speaking organization. Maybe that's how you were introduced to Toastmasters. Hey, that's where you go and learn public speaking. But the great thing about Toastmasters is the tagline, where leaders are made. Communication isn't the only important skill that we can develop in Toastmasters. Leadership is another one. And they go very hand in hand, communication, leadership. So it's really special that we have these different roles that you can take on in Toastmasters to gain your skills and of course refine skills that you already have. I'm going to start out by just talking about leader leadership in your club. Each club has eight leadership roles. There's the president, vice presidents of education, membership, and public relations, secretary, treasurer, sergeant at arms, and of course your immediate past club president. These eight leaders are able to find new ways to increase membership, to work the educational program, to make your club as dynamic, high quality as possible to support execution of the club mission. Generally speaking, most clubs have the terms from July 1st through June 30th the following year. This is the Toastmasters fiscal year, and you'll often hear July 1st and June 30th in terms to the year because that's the program year for Toastmasters International. These roles go to training twice a year, and they offer so many different opportunities for you to grow. If you ever get the chance to become a club leader, I highly recommend it. But there's more levels to this organization. In fact, there's many levels. As you can see on the screen, there's of course the members at the top. This is the great thing as well, is we've got this in inverted pyramid that Toastmasters is built off because we, as members are always the most important. We're here to grow. That's the whole purpose of our organization. But how do we grow? Well, there's all those levels below us that are supporting us and raising us up as individuals. Our club, of course, is our closest relationship because that's where we go and we practice our speeches and evaluations and perhaps being a club president. There's also an area and the area director's role is to support the clubs in the area, which is four to six clubs generally. The division, well, the division director's role is to support the area directors and therefore the clubs. There's districts. The district's role is to support the divisions, the areas, and you guessed it, the clubs in achieving excellence, as well as, of course, increasing new clubs in places that have not yet been explored sharing the great benefits of Toastmasters. And then we've got regions. Every district is broken out into regions and there's a support person available to the district leaders. This way, your area, division and district directors are getting support from somebody that has previous experience in those roles and is able to guide them through the experience as they grow. And then of course, we've got Toastmasters International, which is led by our board of directors and our international president. They serve all of us and support all of us by making sure that we have proper policies and protocols in place for our organization to be the best that it can be. We also have a world headquarters team of about 170 staff based out of Inglewood, Colorado. And they serve us in various capacities from creating the Toastmaster magazine, running the website, finance. We also have club and district services. And that's led by our chief executive officer, Daniel Rex. So how do you interact with some of these people? Well, your area director actually comes every year twice officially to visit your club and pro provide a report of how you're doing well, maybe how you can improve, 
and their role is just to be a resource person, especially working with the club president, but really they can work with anybody in the club. They may be able to make your club aware of different events happening, perhaps install your club officers, and they are really the face of Toastmasters International to your club. You may interact with other roles a little bit less depending how often you venture outside your club, which we'll talk about in a different episode. But I do want to point out that name badges are sometimes an indication what level somebody may have worked on. You'll see some examples uh, on the screen right now here where we have, uh, of course, that blue badge with the red bar at the top that's for people that have served uh, on our board of directors, our world headquarters staff, region advisors, anybody at the international level. The red bar with the white badge is district leaders. The blue bar with the white badge is club leaders. The yellow, uh, the yellow bar with the red badge is for distinguished Toastmasters. Again, the top educational award in Toastmasters. And the blue badge with that yellow bar is for accredited speakers who have been considered professional speakers. They've gone through a judging process and uh, several steps to become considered accredited professional speakers with Toastmasters International, as well as past world champions of public speaking. And then finally, you'll see the white badge with the gray bar at the top, which is for folks like assistant area or division directors. Thanks for tuning in. I hope you found this helpful and have a great day.